Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. While there are no hard and fast rules about creating relational database tables, there are a few tips that you should try to follow when beginning database design. First, examine all current documentation used to collect and store the information that you would like to now store in your new database. This step ensures that when you are creating your data tables and performing your data modeling, you won't leave out a critical part of your database. Doing that often leads to frustrating periods of redesign. Also consider what the database will need to contain in terms of the forms and reports that you will need to design. Also consider the need of the users who will want to run these reports and perform data entry in the forms. You should gather information from those users who need to use the database that you create. Next, use the entity relationship modeling that was discussed in the previous lesson. This is a helpful first step in discovering how your table should be structured. It's also important to note that the way that you store data in the tables in a database is independent of how the users will input the data into the tables. Once you learn a little more about form design, this will become readily apparent. Now, when performing data modeling, you may want to start by listing the entities or subjects of the tables in the database, along with their properties or attributes that you want or need to record. You may also find it easier to begin by listing the attributes, and then trying to discover what entities the attributes refer to. So once you've accomplished this part, you can then sketch the relationships between the tables and list the type of relationships that the tables share. And about 99% of the time, that's going to be a one-to-many relationship. Now, after you have a preliminary table sketch, you can then turn to normalization guidelines to assist you in analyzing the database structure. Now, these guidelines were created to assist the relational database designer in creating sound relational structures that don't break any of the foundational tenets of relational database design. And while they're not rules per se, you shouldn't violate one of the normalization guidelines without having a very good reason for doing so. If you decide to do so, document your reasons for making such a break. When a, when a relational database follows one of the normalization guidelines, it's said to follow the form of the guideline. And while there have actually been many normalization guidelines proposed, many database designers find it's adequate to design the relational databases to satisfy the normalization guidelines through the third or fourth forms. Now, the first normal form requires atomic or unique values at each column and row intersection in the table. There should be no repeating groups, thus no item 1, item 2 column design like you may see in a flat file table layout. The second normal form just requires that every non-key column in a table must depend on the primary key. A table must also not contain a non-key column that pertains to only part of a composite or multi-column primary key. The third normal form requires that no non-key column should depend on another non-key column, and that's very similar to the second normal form. Basically, you shouldn't have a field that's an attribute of a non-primary key column within a table. Fourth normal form forbids independent one-to-many relationships between primary key columns and non-key columns. So as you begin your modeling of your database tables, be sure to document your work as you create your initial designs. Correct violations of normal form that you see, or make conscious decisions to override them. Always document why you choose to make the changes that you do make. After you've created your basic tables and relationships, just review your design. Then create the database tables in Access and enter some preliminary or test data to see if your design works or how well it works. Reevaluate your design and fix flaws as required. Always document the reasons that you decide to change your table design. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.